Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Hosanna in the highest. My dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have been preparing our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today, we gather together to hurl with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal mystery. That is to say, of his passion and resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered into his own city of Jerusalem. And therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entrance into the city of our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that, being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. And so we pray. Increase the faith of those who place their hope in you, O God, and graciously hear the prayers of those who call on you, that we, who today hold high these branches to hail Christ in his triumph, may bear fruit for you by good works accompanied in him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. of people. 
Today I'm standing here in this narthex of an empty church, of an empty church. To begin this holy celebration with each and every one of you, I invite our children and all our adults and all our faithful of our Lady of Light to join with me and Father Tony this week in prayer. As we pray with you this holy week, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Vigil, and of course, may it's next Sunday, Easter Sunday, a solemn celebration. Yes, it is with sadness that you are not here with us, but yet it is with joy that we welcome Christ into our hearts. I'm sure you children will be glad that your sacrifices that you've given up for Lent will soon be over. Will soon be over. But yet we must reflect on what the Lord has done for us as he entered the city today of Jerusalem. He begins the long process for him to accomplish much on the cross. Yes, we will walk with him. And yes, we will experience with him the sacraments of our holy church this week. It is a blessing. It is a blessing upon the soul. And may we take this opportunity of blessing to share our blessings this day with our families. I'd like to compare this to receiving an invitation to a very, very, very fine dinner. Yes, we're all invited as guests. I have a sister, she makes a big, big, big deal out of having a solid meal at her dinner table. She has a tradition, she has a tradition where she makes probably the best bread that I ever tasted. But yet, the symbolism of the bread is that we take a piece of that bread as family and we pass that bread around the table, and each of us takes a piece of that bread, and we share it, and we share it with thankfulness. As you say, what are you thankful for that day, that week, that year? What are you most thankful for that night as you gather? May you share bread this week with one another. Because we will share the greatest bread that we all have, the gift of the Eucharist, in which Jesus himself will give us, my brothers and sisters, his body and his blood. And that is our bread of life. That is the nourishment that each and every one of us will need. If we are to walk in humility and compassion with God. And so as we bless now these holy branches, and we bless them in the name of the Lord, may we now go forth as his children to spread our garments before him this day. And may he bless us all in his name with the gifts that he will give us this week the gift of family, the gift of friends, but more importantly, the gift of himself. May God bless us, my brothers and sisters of our Lady of Light, as we begin this holy week of the year. May God be blessed.